guys, welcome back to Fast Electronic and Loud. We bring it to you Fast Electronic and of course Loud. As you can see here, we have a very large Apple bag. This is actually uh, one of the Apple backpack bags, uh, which are actually really cool. You know, it's kind of adds to the Apple Store experience when you do purchase. As you can see here, this happens to be extremely large Apple bag. And you guys are probably wondering, well, what is that? What's going on there? Well, as you guys know, with Mac Pro uh, being delayed in shipping, uh, we use Final Cut over here. We had a uh, late 2012 uh, MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch, uh, but we decided to take advantage and pick up another MacBook Pro, uh, the 2013. So we wanted to go ahead and do a real quick unboxing first look at this 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is the model that's got 16 gig of RAM, is the 15 inch Retina display. It does have the 512 gig hard drive as well as the 2 gig dedicated video. So this is actually the highest tier uh, model they have in the Apple Store. I mean, you can obviously configure it for more, but off the shelf, this is their, their highest end 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina. So we thought it would be a great time to break out the lovely iKnife. As you can tell, we are going to require that because this is quite a large package. So iKnife was very valuable to come in today, and I hope you guys appreciate it. So let's go ahead and open up the top here and we can reveal what is inside here it's always so nice to debut something new exciting from the apple store and we'll go ahead and take that apple store bag and we'll just set that off to the side here this is the new 15 inch macbook pro retina with 16 gig of ram the 512 gig flash storage and that's that new pci express based storage so that's actually going to give you incredible performance and we'll get into some benchmarks and other videos so make sure you click that subscribe button and read the description how to follow us and that way you'll make sure you see all the benchmarks comparisons because we'll do a full workup between this and our existing macbook pro so that everybody can out there can see and this has got the 2.3 quad core i7 6 meg on the l3 catch turbo boost is up to 3.5 like we said 16 gig ram that's the 1600 megahertz ddr3l ram 512 gig of flash storage. It is the 15.4 inch Retina display. Does have that Intel Iris Pro graphics. Does feature the NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M graphics, and that does have 2 gig of DDR5 memory, which is always awesome. Built in FaceTime HD camera. There are actually two Thunderbolt 2 ports, and that's the newest level, newest tier Thunderbolt 2. So that's, uh, we'll support all your high-speed device. We run a, a Thunderbolt display now, so that's going to be nice. It's got two USB 3 ports. It still sports your SD memory card slot. It has an HDMI port. you got your headphone port, built-in stereo speakers. The cool thing about this also has the new 802.11 AC wireless, which is that new high-speed wireless. So we can definitely take full advantage of that with our new AirPort Extreme, which is always awesome. And we'll show you a benchmark test of that comparing the two MacBooks, just the wireless speed. So plenty of tests to come. So make sure you subscribe to Fast Electronic Allowed so that you guys can see all of that because I'm sure you want to look at it. So let's actually go ahead and do what we do best here. And we're going to go ahead and just set this down for right now. I'm actually going to take the lovely eye knife again here. And I just, I'm a little OCD here and I'm going to be a little bit careful as well. I try to keep this plastic in really nice condition. So I'm going to try to do my best here and make some nice little incisions in this plastic here without taking any fingers or arteries or arms off. And the way I do it is I actually only make three cuts, guys, and then I just fold the plastic back. Uh, like I said, I'm OCD. We all have our we all have our own means, so I'll set the eye knife down to the side for now. And if you guys like that eye knife, just go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe. Leave a comment for that. It goes well with these MacBook Pros or any Apple unboxing. So... I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this plastic here back right now. And we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to roll this back over to the front so that I can lift off the top here very so carefully. And we'll go ahead and set this off to the side for right now. As you can see, it does almost take the whole frame of the shot. So we'll go ahead and set that off now because we don't need that for right now. That can just hang out there. And always when you open these up, it's always such a... Uh, Beautiful experience. I'm going to hold this back for you here so it doesn't fall out. You've got your actual pull tab of plastic here. That's how you're going to remove the MacBook Pro. And you guys know that by now. It's always nice to see the nice plastic. Just It's always a presentation with them. I always 
I've always been a fan, A, of their products, but also their packaging is just extremely awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and lift this up here. Let me go ahead and take that out there and you can see still in the plastic, still in the shine, still in the precision. Feels and looks just like my other MacBook Pro. Just a lot faster, new guts, the new processor, more RAM, more power. Very excited about getting to work with that, with especially using Final Cut 10, Final Cut Pro 10. So also looking inside, once you've removed the MacBook Pro, you can see how they lay out their accessories inside here. You've got your power cable. You've got the power brick here itself. We've also got some documentation from Apple. We can go ahead and actually open that up. I know and everyone knows by now what is actually in here, as they say, designed by Apple in California. And we can go ahead and open that up here. Inside here, hello. Well, hello, quick start guide. So we've got a quick start guide. We've got the MacBook guide. And of course, you get the big Apple stickers, which is always awesome to have. You can never have too many Apple stickers. And with this, they also give you the nice cleaning cloth for your display. And that does actually brand the Apple branding, the logo, Apple, which is always awesome. So yeah, you know, it's just a uh, little extras that they add, you know, those little things to somebody like myself uh, really makes for a brighter day. So go ahead and pull this uh, power brick out of the box here. And this is just like your standard power bricks, guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave this in the package for right now. Uh, I have one downstairs, so I'm going to leave this set up right now in here. Uh, I don't want to keep the pla take the plastic off, but you just flip that out there for power, plug it into your wall. You can plug that right into your MacBook Pro. So you guys have seen that before. Nothing real, nothing real fancy or new there. And that is, uh, if you don't want to plug that power brick into the wall, you've actually got another cable here, which will just give you more length there. You actually pull the socket here. I'll pull this back out. You pull this piece off, and this would just plug in there, and then you have that much more room. So you guys have seen those before. I don't want to bore you with that because it's, you know, nothing real exciting there. So let's go ahead and uh, for right now, I'm actually going to just go ahead and set this off to the side. So hopefully you guys don't mind that I do that. Got a few things going on here. We'll put all this down to the side for right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually here, grab this here, flip this over for you here. I'll make that lovely seal here. And we're using a Rode VideoMic Pro. Uh, this is shot on a Canon 60D, so let's hear the quality of the sound of the Rode VideoMic Pro. Fabulous. It's always the best part there. So we've got the plastic removed there. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side because I'm going to put that back in the box to keep everything nice and neat. Just kind of goes with the uh, OCD theme there. So yeah, here, as you can see here, 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina. This is the 2013 going to have that nice little cover over the front here protecting your screen. We can go ahead and unveil that for you right now. This is your 2013 16 gig of RAM. This features 512 gig of flash storage and that's that new PCIe Express storage. That's actually going to be incredible performance over previous generations SSDs. So 16 gig of RAM. It's, it's quite an amazing machine. Uh, you know this is like we said the uh, the upper tier model, the 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina, uh, but does support that 512 gig hard drive, 16 gig of RAM, plenty of power, 2 gig video, dedicated video. So, the best part, let's just go ahead and turn it on for you guys. There's nothing better than that sound and the first turn on, first boot up of your new MacBook Pro. So, like I said, guys, we're going to have more videos about benchmarking, comparing between the late 2012 of the exact model. And uh, we've got the model we have has 8 gig RAM. So it's the previous generation. So it's not going to be a complete one for one comparison as one machine has double the RAM. Nonetheless, we'll just go over some of those features, comparing the speeds, benchmarkings. We'll run some rendering benchmarks with Final Cut Pro 10 so that you guys can see, you know, the difference, how much more power is actually built in to the new MacBook Pro and definitely we'll take a look at comparing the wireless speeds because this does feature the new 802.11 AC. So we've actually got the first beginning setup here is taking place so we'll go ahead and spend some time to get that set up off camera 
so that we can begin working on some new video content showcasing the new 2013 MacBook Pro with 16 gig RAM, 512 flash storage. It's got all the bells, whistles, all the power you need, and I cannot wait to begin doing this, doing some work on it. So I'm Ryan with Fast Electronic and Loud, and this was brought to you by Fast Electronic and, of course, Loud. If you like our videos, you like the Apple content, you like what you see here, please leave us a comment. If there's something you'd like to see, have a question, I respond to all of them. I love reading them. Uh, it makes my day. So go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to us, maybe add this to your favorites, share it with a friend or family member. This is Ryan, Fast Electronic and Loud, and we bring it to you Fast Electronic and, of course, Loud. We're never going to stop saying it because that's what we do, guys. We love you all. We hope you have a fabulous new year. This is Ryan, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.